I'm technically at work. I've got a Zoom meeting in uh, about two hours and nothing to do in the meanwhile. Let's play Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and let's uh, try to get involved in anything we can't leave suddenly. Also, we're having lunch. Most of garbage American ones, don't worry about it. <laughs> Is it showing anything? Looks like no. Looks like another. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's just more of a delay than usual. That's weird. Don't know why, but if it's working, it's working. <laughs> Alright, so we unlocked the Hollywood mission, but you yeah, I'm done. The silly haunted hospital mission yet. Let's do that instead. First. Nope, pause the feed. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry. How do I make this work? Why is it not already? Yeah, why is it a black screen? We got a video game going on. It should not be a black screen. There we go. Somehow that fixed it. I go up with this man. I don't know what makes it work and what doesn't. Oh, now it's unloading. It shouldn't be unloading. Because it's not loading, it's uh, I'm fully in game. Why are you like this? Still nothing? Okay, so I've got still. Away from here. Let's go downtown, we're gonna do a haunted hospital. Appears to have worked. What changed? I don't know. All right, haunted hospital. How do I get in? 
Because I did once before. How did that work? Here. I'm turning the game sound up a little bit. It's a. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Combat zone, though, it looks like, so you know what that means. Axe me. My best friend so far is the axe that my husband Larry gave me. He doesn't know we're married, but I have decided. Alright, yeah. I know a thing I'm supposed to take when I see it. Alright, that. Oh, oh, oh. Strike one blood shield if I need it that way. All right, all right, that's intended to be a barrier, I think. Yep. Uh oh, no, no worries, we're not stuck. Aha. Somebody in trouble, but it not me. Okay, like for the computer. All right. Get out of the way. I don't care about none of this. Okay, so that's where the guy got dragged through. Right there. So how do we get out there? How do we move it all down the hall? There's random loose objects that'll, uh... There we go. Alright. looks bad for you know other people not so much me gross this looks like yes everything oh, there's a morgue no oh, well mm -hmm. in a minute checking this first Is 
got a flashlight button. Those aspects let me see in the dark? Kind of. Okay, but... Oh, okay, okay. There was a turn. Blood of this right though. Gotta give me someone to eat. More of this. Can't seem to go down there. Guess I don't need to. Go in here instead. supposed to be. Alright, so tunnel from there leads to tunnel on the other side of this. Which we uh, can also get to by just going over the thing. Yep, yep, other end of it. So, must be here, right? But there's nothing. Oh! Oh! Okay. Hmm. Well. I'm trying to save this guy or what? Exactly? not the sight of death. It is a fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned. What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice dead? Hmm. Good zombie? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in the time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Tell him this was all a ruse, his friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Eventually. Alright, well, we're friends now. I'll go do the thing. Hey, cool. Can I have a skull? Hmm. 
What's the best way out of here, though? Um. See, I want her outfit. How do I? How do I take that? here through there, but I can't leave through there. Alright. Guy upstairs. Gotta send you down to my new friend. She's gonna eat you. down here. It's not as agile as me. I'm a spooky vampire. I can jump up things he can't. So where is he hiding? Scared guy. Scared guy. Where are you, scared guy? No one's leaving. Uh, I think that's the whole mission. Or the whole level. his apartment. Unless he's out here. Have cell phones? Is there a directory? I have to go to every floor. <coughs> Alright, storage. in one. 
apartment one. Cool. That was fast. Which I assume means floor one, because there's one apartment per floor in this building. Yep. One, please. One. Excuse me, Zach Baggins. Baggins? Bagel? Where you at, son? Not hiding in the bathroom. Not in your own living room. Not in your little TV nook. Oh, in your closet. Some humanity for that, huh? All right, go talk to my new friend. This way, right, right. <clears throat> it's a pretty fun game. I, I think there's a uh, there's a tendency in video games uh, lately to uh, needlessly reboot stuff or. Uh, re-release stuff with different graphics and controls and stuff. Um, normally it's a waste of time. I think this exact same game with maybe a graphics update and a little smoother controls would be a good sell. I don't know how much effort it takes to uh, compare with breaking, making a brand new game. I don't know how much effort it takes to reskin an old one. I assume less, but I honestly don't know. So. Pisha, did you get him? New best friend. It is significantly easier now that I know where to go. The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. Yes, I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed it. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce del Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. Yes. Death is the ultimate dilemma and integral to the beliefs and behavior of every culture. Life is bore on the corpses of the dead. Without death, there would be no motivation to accomplish anything. The only emotion would be existing. 
Life would be pestilent and agonizing. Not sure that's true. Yes. Um. Seems judgmental. I kind of want this woman to move in with me and we'll be a lesbian power couple and she'll all the drink people and she'll eat what's left and we can hang, but if she doesn't get offended, I want to know. If it satisfies you, I make an effort to only prey on the weak and worthless, consuming their flesh not out of spite, but out of self-preservation. I wither and rot without it. It is my survival. Yes. A fetish is described in a 19th... Yeah. So you're not going to tell me who you are? Because why not? Well, trick clothes. Do you want to... want this jacket? No? Trapped. Mm -hmm. Easy enough to get around this place, except for this part right here. This seems to. Okay, okay. It's about crouching and jumping at the same time. Crouch, jump, crouch, jump, same time. Maybe it's not that tough. Mm -mm -mm. museum. Where is the museum? Is there a museum? There's an art gallery. There's this gargoyle building that I can't seem to get inside of. This is the way in, but it's not. All right, let's try the art gallery. Where to? Not just yet. While I'm here, have you stuff for coming back? What you need? All right, here's what we got today. Looks like no. Is this a museum? Hey, hey, hey. 
<coughs> Alright, I fought Blood Monster here. Oh! I can clean it up by standing on it. Does that work with all blood? No. Alright, weird fetish thing. Not there. It's not that. It's not those. It's one of those. Alright, well, so this? No. Okay. I'm, uh, thinking this isn't the museum. Well, she had a mouse stuff to do. Gotta go to Hollywood. What about Mercutio? You got anything for me? Before I head off, Larry's better than you, but... Several dead at a beach house in Santa Monica tonight. We suspect the same group Anything I can do for you tonight? Residents of this white community were Concerning by the killing museums. Suspected the men in the house Specifically? In drug distribution and have seen many strange people going inside. Downtown's a mess. A Always has been. I get tonight. called down there sometimes. Knives people, LaCroix people, a lot of things in here. For a lot of drugs and a lot of crime. Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Shipside diner left several dead after the attempts by these would-be robbers were thwarted by a diner patron turned vigilant. Just bullets, that's all we got. All right, all right. I don't use bullets, I use an axe, but if you got a better axe. Oh, and I can check in on uh, my ghoul. Need some money. Or whatever. Maybe she has bullets. Right, we asked her to change her appearance, so if she looks exactly like me now, I'll be very pleased. Hmm. Hello, ghoul. Nope. Oh, there she is. Anything I can do for you? Um, here, here. That's all I've got. Oh, oh shit. That's not, that's not, that's not the junction to hit. <laughs> 100 email. Hell yeah. Don't touch the butter. From Brock Fu. New extreme sport. It's sweeping the nations now. Limited edition DVD. <laughs> Superstars Iron Will McMahon. Holy shit! Brock, dry hands, highs, and Margaret and Mike Davenport. Do you know I do not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, three judges. How about well part to order? All gone to. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure that's relevant, but it mentions Iron Will, so I'm not giving it up. Oh. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, change your look. Okay. It's not like looking in a mirror, I swear to God. To Hollywood. So far, it's been one outfit per, per place, so I wonder if I can get a, another cool witchy gear there. Mm -hmm. Hex. 
Let's see. Where to? Hollywood, man. What's his name's mansion? Is he a Giovanni? Does he have a book? Does he live in a museum? You. What are you doing here? No. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Pardon me. I'm locked in. I appear to be locked in. <clears throat> this calls for a new save before I forget. Uh, what's a grout pun? I am grout. That's nothing. That's nothing there. Grout and about. Oh, fuck it. You know, I'm not. It's not. I'm not going to call it anything great. Oh. Alright, nice yard. Ooh, in the Hollywood Hills? Yeah, this is a good place. How about we live here instead of that shitty apartment above the pawn shop? Me and my ghoul and my wife, Pisha. Yeah. Oh, can't go in that door. Thought I was being all sneaky. Okay, well, it's a big house. I don't like that, because it's definitely haunted. It means we have to spend that much longer inside it. What's that? Nothing? raining in Santa Monica. Okay. One, two, three, four, five stories. Six stories if that's an attic or something up there. And what do we got? What do we got? Where's the rations if I need them? Let me in. Hey, someone's here. Fighting? You gonna talk? You got a knife? Oh. You're gonna be a dick about it. Alright. It's one of those places. What's your deal? You got zombies? We talk? We don't talk. We don't talk. Hey! Hey! Yeah, how many... Just trying to eat you. Alright, alright. Yeah, 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 you're scary. I thought I killed you. Okay, okay. We got weird folks in costumes. Can I steal your claw gloves? I can't. Nice. Into that. That was a nice place. Once I murder everyone in here, I'm gonna move in. Hallway architecture is a little weird, but that's okay. All right, closest to the door first. Whoop, whoop. It's 
Sneak, 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 sneak. Don't worry about a thing, man. You're safe. You're in your friend's crazy house. What could possibly go wrong? Can I have your gloves? What is gloves? Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time. Insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels. The odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors. That gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing of perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. All right, that was long. Perception once shapes the mind, rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and turns the mind of mind. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm hmm, sure. Mm hmm, okay. That makes sense to me. Okay, okay. No, nothing up here. Was it just too off center of the. Nope. Alright, that's nothing. Unless. Now is it something? They're all off. Hey, so where was that? I was unaware there was a riddle. Oop. It is quite peculiar the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural journey. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactylkindlerism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside. Its champions all silenced and dead, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse 50 years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star I think I have a hunchback when I pull the axe out of Alright, alright. He 
you alive? Walk away for a second. Why your friend? Aggressive. Hey. Sorry to get through your whole herd, Grout, but uh, I keep attacking you if I don't. Give you a chance. All right, all right. Let's see. Came through there. Knives all over the ground. Can't open. Can't open. Can't open. that was, but it looks handy. By someone who's still alive, so I know it's not where I was before. Oh, right there. Oh, oh, someone's here. What do they want? Is it to get eaten? It is. How convenient. So much weight in this mansion. Okay. Uh. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my inspector. Had I been conscious of the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming bed. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions for a safe busy woman. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current job of test subjects, yielding wretchedness. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the test, I cannot expect to say further for more, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. And the one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. Alright. So these spooky vampires doing weird experiments on people driving crazy. I dig. Hello, whoever new person is. Apologies in advance, but there's no uh no windowed mode in this game, so I will very infrequently be able to get back to people who type things, but you know. Don't let that stop you, I'll just be slow. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Liking my new house more and more. Are we skipping all those floors? Feels like a six-story building, but if we're skipping all of them, that's cool by me. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. It's 
It's really not fair, but the person in the first room ruined it for the rest of you, so like, I don't, don't take any responsibility, but uh, we got a dungeon. No, we don't. Green room. Hey. Oh, oh, okay. You're all spirited now. Axe. Chop. Chop. Come on. The cover already. Chop. Okay, now. Again, the system's working so far. Why not continue? Oh, oh! Wait a sec! Wait a sec! It was just here. All right, all right. Colors on the other side. I see how this works, kind of. Or do I? Yeah. Okay. So where's this go? And where's this go? These are new places. You can't check that one anyway. Makes my job easier. Oh, gross. Which one has a knife? You both do? Alright, well. Please don't defend each other. Thank you. Hmm. Not a mirror, though, because they're dead. Oh, it's just not a very good graphics mirror. Because I wouldn't have reflection anyway, right? Some vampire. Like. <sighs> After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means my alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a turf ball for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Is he trying to cure vampirism or is he trying to cure being crazy? Can I jump through this? Nope. What about this? Can I get through this? Is there a switch? Is there a hidden switch? Alright. Bulletproof window. Don't love that. Um. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. Well, it's that way it looked like, right? So it's the locked one. to the right out here anyway. Oh, well, no, that's just the, uh, that's back up to the, where am I supposed to go? My studies proceed at a languid pace. I admire the foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back to this flat meditation. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower wall, pondering the failure. regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious of the attack, I could have sought your peaceful longing her in the loading bay. Okay, so how to get up there, maybe. Simple questions of a plague-ridden woman who met her end at dawn. In the fourth place, I would guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects. I don't know. Candelabras or something I can interact with? I guess there's only that one room, but there was something I could do, right? Gotta. Come on. See if there's something in there that'll let me, uh. Good. Nope. I went up outside. Perception once trips the bond all the time, however. 
Throw the two interceptions and turn warps to mine. Mine's first seven. With harmony, progress is made. Man. I assumed that was part of the scenery. What'd it do? to look this up on the internet or something. Okay. We are more or less assured there's nothing in there. through the front door. Time, harmony, etc. I fuck with the... Well, if I can't mess with them, then I can't part real or anything, right? I can slash up like the like the cane stuff. Nope. All right. So we definitely didn't miss anything in there. In here, is this thing open now? Nope. Still can't get through there. Can get through there. Get up to the second story gallery. I don't think. I'm passing it though. Can I jump? Can I go down? Is this a secret floor thing? No. Not able to interact with any of these things. Except the recordings, all these recordings. Seems like I can move Dead Guy around a little bit, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I can't pick him up or anything. Picture does nothing. Is there a secret, like... Secret doors or anything on the wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you keep thinking like this is a secret door or something, but I think it's just old polygons, right? That's not a thing. Basic deal as before. Mm -hmm. uh, anything here? 
door. Secret door. Nope. And now we're just here. Which we can get out of through here. How's this doing? Just that, huh? Do I have to balance by like moving the furniture till it? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I'm gonna try one thing. Does that unlock anything else? No. Hell with you then. And this is just taking me back to. Yep, don't need that. And this is locked. There's no candelabras or anything in here to mess with. And no second story. anything to the doorway over here no. I'm getting bored vampire the masquerade bloodlines Fair warning, I don't feel like I owe video games anything completion-wise. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition uh -huh, is this? vampirism, which apparently okay. comes in a multitude of strains Fuck. for the spectrum. Set of symptoms such as that should have been obvious. Even the sort of black Through numerous official interactions, that was about four or five seconds from quitting this game, being like, Well, Vampire Massacre of Bloodlines is a bad game because it ends with wet part. But that's something I missed. Suspicion and pseudo religious dogma that would make a turf fault for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed to okay. with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present okay. them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the So Job. it is that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the side of the I think I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Anything? I heard like shaking noise, but my probably music. It's a problem with game soundtracks. It's so hard to tell for. Hey, hey, all right. What's that? Well, let me explore around first. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this? Okay, it's like Mike Peters only through the scientific process order, however. As long as it goes the perception thereof, time is the key that links the two. But I don't know. All right. I play this one figure puzzle. I have accepted the role of Primogen 
for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named because some supposed vampire father figure of old, or the poppy god roamed from a backward culture that seems interminably long to children's tales and a fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, oh, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempers. Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it. Okay. I opened something, but I couldn't tell where. Is it down there? Is that it? It is down there. Alright, next time we're down there. Just in a couple seconds, I think. Okay. That's the thing. looks important. What time are we at? Okay, I have a little bit still. Okay. But it was very strange when you walk. Oh, we got dead guys. We got Palpatine lightning. We got Tesla coils. We got a lever that might turn it all off. We got no stomach guy. All right, there's one of them. Huh? It costs to install a security system like this. I want this for my house. Terrible thing. Hands you check modify. Oh, what the heck is a terrible thing? It's a heavy fang. Could only belong to a first, but you feel it even as knowing there's one less that's in the world. Decreased transparency. Is this the fetish that Paisha was looking for? This is a museum. Explode. Well, I don't need to turn it all the way off, do we? It's fine as is. I get it out. No problem. And which one was that? red room. That's the first room, I think. So that one in the back that I couldn't get through for? Here, I hope. I hope. Yeah. 
All right. Don't want to have to do all that again. And more stuff. All right, well, which one of these looks like it's the least? Let's go save the downstairs for later. Yeah, come here. Come here, weirdo. What? What? X. Chop. Ooh. More, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I thought I'd killed all your friends. I can see now I was mistaken, and now I've killed all your friends. All right. Weird surgery room. Nothing in here, I guess. Just dead folks. All right. And a sink. Well, now I know where to find fresh water if I need it. Up on here. That was a glitch, I think. Fives. Saving game in case I need. In case I waste the blood. Alright. A fridge. Elder Vitae. What does Elder Vitae do? Blood pack. Elder Vitae. Right, same as everything else, I guess, just heals me. Alright, that was worth breaking into. I should have saved that room full of guys for last, though. Could have stocked back up. Oh. Looks significant, but it's not. Oh, sweet. It was just below, in fact, I didn't have anyone left to eat. Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, bunches. secret door? Is that just polygon stuff? Appears to be. I feel like we should save this for later. Gotcha. Oh. Sure. Full of that. Gangsters, I wind up killing have that, so I'm awful up. Alright, alright. What was that? Right. 
just a cell. Oh, this also just a cell. Anything interesting? Other than possible epilepsy warning? Yee. Yeah. How about you? Oh! Chop! Chop! Is really slow with this. Well, as long as they're incapable of opening the door. Pretty easy to divide up, at least. Hey, it's me! Oh, the enemies are delicious. Ooh, hello! Speaking of. What if Kirby was a vampire? You alive? You dead already. Right. Alright. Mm -mm. Gross. Why? Does look of finality to it. Should I go to that secret door first? Probably I should. First. Ah, okay. It's uh, little windows down into the, the cells. I see how it is. And that's the epilepsy one. And this then is the way down the other side. Alright. That wound up not being quite as big a thing as I thought. Still got an email. One second. It is nothing. <laughs> Mr. Comento, hello. Sorry, same disclaimers before. It'll uh, take about half an hour to get back to you on pretty much anything. But good to see you again. We are busting up in Sans Isle and killing literally everyone in it for reasons. I'm supposed to climb? I think so, maybe. And climb. Get the old climb crouch. Wait, there's a guy here. Can I imagine that? Was it you? This is gonna be long. The voices have increased in frequency and direction. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. That 
fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I'm thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking of me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do at these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. We done? All right, all right. So he was less crazy than most Malkavians, but then went steadily crazier. That's a backstory. Maybe under here? No. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers, especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved one. The cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche. Dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. I like this transparent look I got going on, but it doesn't seem to last, or does it? Oh, maybe it does. I'm see through now. Love that. Oh, hello. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, that's odd. What do we got? What do we got? We got a pocket watch. We got a photo album. We got a rose, all beauty and the beast like. We got. I do not know what this is. Black thing on thing. We got a cute little teddy bear. We got a brain. We got a hologram that can only be seen from one angle. And we got a record player. Yeah, I thought so, maybe. I was wrong. I thought I was going to have to fight a Calcabrina, whatever they're called. Is he okay? Well, I hear something.
And I can't loot nothing. Skyrim spoiled me, I think. What's that actor's name? It looks like Charles Dance. Does he? Not really, I guess. The fog is dead? It is to not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Oh, you're one of those. As you burn, tell them it was Green Head Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Yeah, he's coming for Lacroix. All right, well, don't let me stop you. Um, how do I leave again? I just like. Whoa! Whoa! I admit to not seeing that coming. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's gotta be that way, doesn't it? Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, it's aggravated, which means I gotta wait forever for it to get any better. Or just eat someone. Someone who's not on fire. Oh, I'm gonna die. I guess not, I'm not. But yikes. I've become uh, a little bit dependent on being able to heal up after stuff, so if I can't all of a sudden. And uh, fire bad. Why don't you die? You're just a guy. You can't be on fire either. There's another way out. I don't know it. Can I get you from a distance? Where the heck did you come from? We're gonna die. Or I can just wait for like half an hour to heal up, but that's boring for everyone involved. Alright, deal with self. If we die here, we just reload the save game and wait to heal up, but it's obnoxious. Can't just heal self, can I? Is this where he was? I think this is where he was. Yeah, I was over there and he was over here. And he went this way, which means we're either going to have to fight him in a second or he knew the way out. And he got away. Yeah. What? Where? The heck? God damn it. From where? Yeesh. Alright, alright, alright. 
Jump on the table. Good job. I think that's how fire works. Should I save or is this gonna be a reflexes thing? Because I don't have reflexes. Alright, I'm saving. We out. Oh, there's like a whole new room. Are we busting out the window dramatically? I think we are. No, not that dramatically. Hell yeah. Uh, what happened to that rat that I made friends with? Kind of need to eat him. Priest. Weird priest from Helsing. You here? No. I'm probably going to get blamed for this. Well, all the good days work. you need do you have anything new just bullets just bullets bullets and a fancy ring that I sold you all right I think I can make lady at the church fall in love with me free drinks unless there's someone in the alleyway Oh yeah. God, you got so much blood. Look at you. It's actually probably too much blood. You might want to see a doctor about like, hypertension or something, because uh, you don't look that big and you've got four times as much blood as all those giant homeless guys. Switch out of first person mode. There we go. Alright. Why? Okay, there we go. All's well that ends well. I gotta continue. I wanna save the game. It won't let me log out while I'm dancing. Man. A good night's work. I got a meeting in about 20 minutes. I think I'm not going to start anything new right now, but uh, tune in next time to see if LaCroix blames me for the house burning down. Trade secret, he will. Do I do this? I did just do this. Whatever, I'm doing it again. That's it.
That's OCD, baby. Alright. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'll, uh, I'll pick this back up maybe after work. Um, which I'm technically at work right now, but all I gotta do is meeting. That's pretty cool. Uh, or, you know, tomorrow. Either way, thanks for uh, hanging out. It's good vibes.